Well, definitely 911 had an immediate and huge impact on funding uh, for all sorts of studies on terrorism. I guess before that, the biggest event was the Oklahoma City bombing. And before that, I think for whatever reasons, terrorism research in the behavioral and social sciences seemed to be falling through the cracks. It wasn't a large specialization in criminology. It wasn't a large specialization in psychology. Even political science wasn't doing that much. So for whatever reasons, uh, it was an area that really had been neglected. At first, after 9-1-1, I think there were certainly lots of uh, issues that were seen as more important than social and behavioral science. So it took a while for the government to sort of get organized to pay some attention. And to this day, it is actually not a huge amount of funding in this area. So, in fact, I sometimes am a little concerned that uh, there hasn't been a huge amount of work done on processing uh, people for terrorism-related charges. Just in the federal system right now, we have something like 350 people in prison for terrorism-related charges. I don't think we know that much about them from the social behavioral science side. So there's actually a lot of work still to be done. We had no idea how much terrorism was domestic versus transnational. Uh, and so I think many of us were surprised to learn that domestic was much more common. And as criminologists, we always say, you know, if you're investigating a crime, you always want to start close to where it happened. And this turns out to be very true of terrorism in, as well, that oftentimes planning, a lot of the events happen very close to where the incident happened, which I think we didn't know before we began collecting data. I don't think we knew uh, also uh, how difficult it is to actually sustain a terrorist group. We tracked 1,600 terrorist organizations. Their average life expectancy was less than a year. We hear about the success stories. We hear about the Al-Qaeda's and the FARC's, but we are less likely to hear about the many, many organizations that thankfully disappear very rapidly.